So my third year in a row, uh, John, please, we need to talk. You are not helping. <laughs> okay, so for the stubborn, I will begin five more reasons not to use Conan Package Manager. <laughs> the first one, it is very complex because we are used to simple things like iterate and the <laughs> So simple. <laughs> not to say we are used to the simplicity of our build systems. <laughs> so it, this is totally impossible. We don't want this or horrible syntax, this complexity into our package managers. The reason, one of the reasons of this complexity is because it is not declarative. Declarative is more elegant. So if we need to have some conditional <laughs> or some for loops that we, we, we probably won't need them. You know, we won't need them. But if we do, we have elegant solutions. <laughs> or we can inject a script just for condition on, a, on the operating system. Or my favorite one, to exclude a file for a bill, <laughs> we can inject a plugin in Maven just to skip this file. Very simple and beautiful. Last year I was saying, hey, don't use Conan because building from sources is better. I actually meant that using binary should be strictly forbidden. And as we do in our company, if you remember our youngest developer in the company, if you, yeah, yeah, if you wonder about him, he's doing great, <laughs> Ta taking, taking a nap uh, while he waits for the bill. <laughs> yeah, but he, he will be fine, he will be fine. Uh, and of course, we, Conan is doing a damage to our fellow C++ colleagues in other companies that they are using Conan in production, saving time, and no, no, it's not good for them. No, no, definitely they lose their, they lose this, their excuses to, to procrastinate. And another one is that the Conan team, they are not eating their own dog food. Yeah, they are helping to create uh, packages, hundreds of packages with hundreds of binaries that they got one million downloads just, just in August, one million downloads. But yeah, the developers, once a month, they need to run a pip install. <laughs> so they are definitely not using their tools. And my last one, it is not a standard. So I'm going to solve this. Actually, I'm going to propose a paper for San Diego, summarizing my reasons here. Uh, I was writing this and I thought, okay, this is, this is too complex probably. I'm going to try to simplify the wording. And I think this is going to be my final proposal. I think the committee <laughs> is, is going to love it. Uh, well, the truth is these reasons, they are not mine. I got them from the ultimate source of uh, truth, uh, knowledge, and empathy, that is the internet. <laughs> Reddit, uh, Twitter, Slack, you know. Um, but it's also that I, I got some data from the internet, like for example, the GitHub activity doubled in the last four months. That means thousands of notifications in the inbox of the, of the Conan team per month. The uh, Conan is the second most active topic in, in the Slack, besides the C++ core language topic, of course, the, uh, behind Boost. The number of companies, last year I was saying uh, there, are, there were hundreds of companies using Conan in production. That number has tripled in this year. Okay, now there are many, many companies using Conan in production. So with all this data, I can only conclude that, that there are only two kinds of C++ package managers, the ones nobody uses and the ones some people complain about. Like Conan. Thank you.